Like any good Star Citizen ship, if you can't solo it, it's basically useless, right? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Star Lancer. In combat, we're going to do a priority mission here to see if we can basically use this ship in combat and so forth. So I'm just going to use this and I think we can do the cargo recovery. We will first have to deal with a lot of ships, I believe, and then we can recover the cargo. Since this ship is multi-purpose, it might be super decent to see the, the combat ability of the ship as well as the cargo. So let's quickly see how things feel at this priority mission. I wish I had bounties, but my bounties are not leveled on the PTU, unfortunately. You can see I already got my police slider ready, but let's quickly head over to the mission. Now my star launcher is nothing special. I optimized the power a little bit, but it's basically a rented star launcher. So it's a default one with cannons. For the power, I'll probably show you in a minute once I enter SEM so that you can also optimize it if you want to. You can see I've optimized my power here. Everything is to weapons, everything to thrusters, everything to shield. All that I did is only in coolers, I disabled the one cooler and I disabled life support. This is just a basic thing that everybody do is not do now. But yeah, maybe you didn't know. Just quickly wanted to show you. We're going to hit here. Maybe we encounter some decent ships. I'm probably going to enter gimbal mode since ship is quite big. So I'm just going to press G and enable, enable gimbal mode so that we can track them. We're using cannons, just a default loadout. But we do have a quite a big shield, so we should be able to handle this, I believe. Let's quickly see. Here it is. Is that a Polaris? It seems like it. Hopefully we can take that thing out. We'll, we'll see. Okay, we've got a couple of contacts here. I have no idea what this other one is. I think it's a cutlass maybe. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. There's a lot of debris here as well. So we need to be careful. I hate fighting these asteroids with all of the metal pieces. I always seem to fly into them for some reason. Seems like the Polaris there is getting attacked. So it's probably a friendly Polaris. So we might be able to take them out quite easily. They're definitely beating on that thing quite a bit. Let's see what big ship is this actually. So that's a Cutlass. Just keep in mind the servers are pretty bad as well. So might not be exactly a great for us. See they're jumping around like this. Which isn't the best. Well, they took care of the cutters quite easily. Here is a 400i, I believe. These are sometimes a pain to kill. There, she's gone. Let's quickly see any more. Oh, quite a bit more, actually. Jeez, let's get around this. I must say, the Star Lancer is super slow. So don't expect much from it. Taking on a Hornet here. There we go. Down. This one. They seem just to be hovering. For some reason. Like I said, the servers are pretty cooked. So maybe not the best example of things. But we'll see what we can do here. This one is pretty active. It's a little Razor. Gonna be difficult to actually hit, I guess. Back to a Hornet here. I feel like the thing just rammed me. That's how it destroyed, got destroyed. Let me just get into the middle here. So many hornets. Jeez. Okay, the hornets go pretty quickly. Maybe that thing didn't ram me. There's a couple of shots and they blow up quite quickly. Okay, now for a terrapin. Let's quickly see what we can do against it. There goes the Terrapin. Nice. I think there's like a little Tana constantly hitting me here. There's a little Tana. Hopefully we can quickly... Yeah. Instantly. 
almost at the cargo ship. Only a couple more ships and then we're basically done. Then I believe this is the last ship. Not too difficult. Most ships in AC is like not a big threat, right? You can do ERTs probably with like an Avenger if you're just constantly moving. Although I am quite a big target, so who knows. But let's see what we can do here with the cargo ship. So it seems like the cargo ship is a Mercury Star Runner. Now do we put the cargo in the back or on the sides? I don't think that does the back even have a grid. I haven't tasted cargo at all with this ship. But we'll we'll see we'll probably find out in a minute. I'm gonna park like this. Hopefully it will do. I'm just gonna open up everything and then we can test it out. Luckily we've got a little dock here that we can use to quickly exit and find out where to store everything. I think I'll try the cargo ramp here if it can fit. Okay, it's opening. Nice. I did bring a tractor beam, but only a small one. Might have been a mistake. Oh, it's only four ACUs or is it eight? Only four, so nothing too crazy. It's in the middle there. I've never seen those boxes before. I'll quickly take these though. Oh, they switched to the tractor beam around now. I think you left click to pick up boxes. And you right click to do basically traversal mode. Let's just quickly put these things on the cargo hold. I haven't cargo hold at all with this ship. So not too familiar with this grid system. Pretty decent. It feels super smooth actually. Let's get the rest. Now before we put it down on these ramps. I just quickly want to take a look at the back here. Does it have a grid? Can it snap? Or is it just a regular ramp where you can drive only vehicles in? I haven't really taken a look yet. Let me just see. Okay. So you can snap them on the sides. But you leave this space open for a vehicle. So this is basically what we get. I'll leave this one here for now. Is it perfect there? Oh, so you can actually match it up perfectly. So I guess you can leave this for the Ursa. Which isn't too bad actually, like you're not forced to put anything here, but you can obviously jam something in there without being secured. I believe maybe that's 16 ACU boxes, who knows, that you can place there. Let's quickly get everything here. So these unique boxes is hydrogen fuel I guess. They look pretty decent, look super cool to me at least. Perfect for a thumbnail, but just leave it there for now. And it's pretty neat that you can use the tractor beam like this now. Just super quickly traversing everything. But I think I'm a little bit tired of moving things. I'm just going to throw them towards the ship. And uh, hopefully they stay quite close there. And here is the last box. Let me just quickly place it down here as well. Then let me just quickly take a look here. Just want to test something out. Quickly want to take a component as well just to see... If they maybe fix the snapping of it and so forth. Because I really enjoy taking components and selling them. Let me see if it fits on the grid here. So you can snap them to the grid. Which is super decent. Happy to see that you can snap components to the grid as well. But I'll quickly going to see how high you can load these. There's my boxes. There we go. Let's see how high we can go. So that's one high. Well, basically two high. Can we place this on top of the other one? Let me just see. Okay, so I can only go too high, basically. So nothing too crazy. That should be all the cargo. Loading this ship is super convenient. I really enjoy how they designed it. Definitely very nice. But let me quickly go up to the cockpit here. And let's see if we can make the delivery. Last time it was bugged for me. Hopefully they fixed it now. All closed up. Let's see where we need to go. If you open up your map now, you can actually see all your missions here. Where, when you track them, you can just click on these. And it will basically take you there directly. And then you can just say route. Which is super convenient. It's a new feature they included, right? On the PTU. That's going to be a life changer for sure. But let's quickly head over there and unload it and see how the experience feels. We managed to reach the station here. The engines of the ship does sound pretty decent. When, you, when it ramps up, it sounds super cool. Let me quickly stop here and go give it another go. Okay, let's quickly ramp it up.
sounds super good. It's like a little, little roar with the software, basically. Let us quickly land and see if we can deliver the cargo. The landing gear also has its own sound, I believe. Sounds a little bit rusty, but we managed to make it back here. I don't even think we need to land sideways, we just need to land close enough so that we can basically unload the ship. Let's just see. Would have been better if we turned the ship, but I'll just land in front here. Don't want to throw this thing around in the hangar, it's a little bit too big. Maybe if we just go a little bit more left to land to get closer to the cargo. Let's open up the cargo here. Is it a little bit strange that this thing doesn't have a tractor beam? It's a cargo ship, right? It's a max. And we don't see any tractor beam. Maybe they were like not included because they couldn't fit it really. So they were like, no. They probably just placed one right here or something. They could have unloaded everything. But I'll quickly put everything on here and see if we can successfully fulfill the mission. I just need to go to the back first to get everything out there. Only one box so I may quickly unload everything the ship is actually super easy to unload you can just throw the boxes off to the side but then atlas or the but the max suit will be way better and very quick to unload so I definitely prefer this way of stacking cargo on your grid makes it super convenient here's the last box I definitely think that they did a great job with the cargo here for, for fighting with the ship, mm, she's a little bit slow, but you can definitely do bounties with her and load up the cargo and make a bit of money here and there. Not the best fighter, but I do like the cargo grid quite a bit. So pretty decent, you can definitely make a bit of money and probably do ERTs with it since it does have quite a bit of firepower. But let's send everything down and see if this mission completes. Confirm. There you can see we completed the mission. Super nice. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. And if you want to see a tour of the ship, then you can watch this video right here where I did my first tour of the Star Launcher. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.